You're my sunrise. You're my everything. You're the song I sing. Yeah. You're that shooting star. Wherever you are, beautiful. and live streaming around the world, the fifth annual Old Bony Mountain Hot Summer Night International Hot Sauce Competition. Benefiting Ventura County Fire Department's Widows, Orphans, and Sisters. And Old Bony Mountain And now, let's welcome your hosts for this evening's program, Jeff Lose and Andy Dominguez. Everybody having a good time? Yeah. Yeah. You guys don't know this yet, but you are live worldwide, uh, live stream from Thousand Oaks, California, Old Bony Mountain Hot Summer Night, International Hot Sauce Festival, and you're going to hear the winners of the best hot sauce in the world right here in little old Thousand Oaks, California. Welcome to come down into these seats and enjoy the show. Hey, so, how far are we going? How far are we going? Yeah. We're going to Australia. We're going to Canada. We're going to England. We're going to uh, Ecuador. Where else? We got like I don't know, 15, 20 countries involved in this thing. We got five, 500 hot sauces up there. We've got uh, all the best beer, wine, food from around the Canal Valley right here in one place. You guys have got to agree with that. My stickiness is almost gone. <laughs> I'm not hearing you. Um, yeah, the weather's great. How's that? Obviously a great night. Oh, turn it on. How about that weather? So I'm Jeff Losey. I'm Andy Dominguez. And we're here to present the 2022 World Hot Sauce Awards to that great hot sauce community that we know of around the world. And um, we're happy to be here. We definitely are happy to be here. And thank you for everybody for coming. And we're gonna get right into it with the uh, mild division. But first, we're gonna be showing the finalists for the mild division. So we'll see how the sound works and how everything goes. <laughs> At least they'll hear. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
smile. Can I? From Florida, father of seven sauces, Guaberry. From New South Wales, Australia, Pepper by Pinard's Hickory Smoked Barbecue Hot Sauce. From California, Red Hot Foods Mild Ketchup. From New York, Earthquake Spices Space Dust. From Colorado, Sauce Leopard. The Bird Blood Cranberry Habanero Hot Sauce. In the Mild Division, from Connecticut, Hook and Arrow's Cayenne Garlic Sauce. From South Carolina, Radiation Therapy Hot Sauces, El Gran Verde. From Arizona, High Desert Hot Sauce Company's Fire Roasted Green. From Ontario, Canada Villain Sauce Company's Good Guy Sauce. From Florida, Father of Seven Sauces, Guaberry. From New South Wales, Australia, Pepper by Pinard's Hickory Smoked Barbecue Hot Sauce. From California, Red Hot Foods Mild Ketchup. From New York, Earthquake Spices Space Dust. From Colorado, Sauce Leopard. The Bird Blood Cranberry Habanero Hot Sauce. From Massachusetts, Sweet Mama Sauce, White Label. All right, so those are the. All right, so those are. The so, before I get into who won, I want you to know that there's about five minutes left on the silent auction. So, if you guys were bidding on anything, you got five minutes left to go up and see where you're at and see what you need to do. There's uh, all of that 500 hot sauces back there that it's on the honor system. You, you guys go scan, donate 10 bucks, and pick up a sauce. You don't have to even deal with anybody if you don't want to. Um, and, and then there's T-shirts and everything in the back. So uh, it all goes to uh, Old Boney Mountain Foundation for Kids, and it goes to the Ventura County Fire Department Widows, Orphans, and Assistance Fund. We keep nothing. It all goes to them. So, and these... These hot sauce companies from around the world do this out of their the kindness of their heart. Their entry fees all go to the same thing, and they're all in it to win it. So I'm happy to announce the winners of the mild division worldwide for Old Boney Mountain Hot Summer Night. In third place, Earthquake Spices Space Dust. Space Dust. In second place, Sweet Mama Hot Sauce, White Label. And in first place, Sauce Leopards, Bird Blood. Thank you. All right. Would have been better with an envelope. <laughs> All right. So that brings me to um, talking a little bit about the foundation for kids. We want to we want to uh, make sure that everybody understands that your hard-earned money that you pay to come in here and have a good time is going to a good cause. And the person that is the executive director of the Foundation for Kids is here with us. Her name is Shonda Lubinsky, and she's going to tell you a little about a little bit about the Foundation. Shonda?
first of all, thank you guys so much for coming and supporting this event. It means everything to us. Um, you know, we've got some great sponsors here, and part of those sponsors are the people that are coming here and helping make this event happen. And thank you guys again, all of our volunteers, all of our sponsors, all of the participants that are local, food, wine, beer, craft spirits, hot sauces, and to everybody who came and attended this, um, we really appreciate it. So, that being said, um, Old Boney Mountain Foundation for Kids. We are investing in the future of local youth who are inspired to overcome hardships to become inspired adults. So um, what that means is we're finding kids in the area that have you know, a loss of a parent or financial hardship, um, foster kids, and kids that are really inspired to be great and to have a great life. And we look for them and we offer them college and trade school scholarships we offer them um, by sending them to summer camp, and we do <laughs> so we do yeah so we do scholarships and we do sending them to camp and we do the life skills programs and that's something that we're really rolling out this year and we're really excited about. So everything that you guys are contributing to is supporting that cause, and if you'd like to hear more about that, I'd love to talk to you about it. So thank you guys again and uh, enjoy. All right, everybody, we're going to get started. Our contest, I think, is one of the most legitimate contests in the world because it's all for charity. We have no reason but to try to find the greatest hot sauce in the world. Take your time. There's four categories to judge. Aroma, taste, the use of heat, texture. There is no time limit on this. Wait until you feel like you can really evaluate the next one because each one of these sauces is done by a small batch hot sauce maker who really puts their time and effort into each one of these. Nobody knows which sauces these are. They don't know what company produced them. They're just sauces in cups because we want to find the best sauce, even if it's the first sauce anybody ever made or if it's an experienced sauce maker. We just want the best. Integrity is the name of the game. With that, Let's find the best hot sauce in the world. is our medium heat division. Finalists. Finalists. In the medium division, from Washington, 1111 <laughs> Salt, Blazing Citrus, from Australia, Pepper by Pinard's Caribbean Habanero Hot Sauce, from Arizona, High Desert Sauce Company's Ghost of Saffron. From Australia, Pepper by Pinard's Hickory Smoked Barbecue Hot Sauce. From California, 
Infinity Sauces Let's Go IPA Hot Sauce. From Australia, Jomoto Foods Miso Hot Sauce. From Florida, Father of Sevens Original Spicy and Sweet. From California, Infinity Sauces Original. From North Carolina, Flashpoint Sauces Peach and Arrow. And Smokin' Mustard. <laughs> and the winner is, well, unfortunately, you get to wait until after this break, and we'll announce the winners. <laughs> Dirty bird. This sweet sauce, so good. Guy, it's unlike any hot sauce you've ever had. This sauce is boss. It's wicked awesome. It's just got the standout flavor, you know? I love all that flavor. Ginger, garlic, sesame oil. Mixed with the sweetness of honey and sugar and a bit of smokiness with those liquid aminos. Mmm, yummy. Yeah, and depending on the heat level you're looking for, there are two options. You can go original, made with red jalapenos, or go with the ghost, made with the infamous ghost pepper. Right. And you know, they're not just hot sauces. They could be a marinade, a dip, even a chicken wing sauce. Not that I would know, just what I heard. Uh-uh! No way! Who would eat a chicken wing? Squirrel? No, nope, not me, nuts only. Whatever. Bottom line is, Dirty Bird Sweat Sauce Original is your everyday table sauce that goes on literally everything. And Ghost is the same if you want it hotter. I can't wait to pour Dirty Bird Sweat Sauce all over my nuts. You spend a lot of time, energy, and expertise making excellent hot sauces. But do you do the same for your business? You may need a strategic action process that gets you clear on where you're going, gets you unstuck from what's holding you back, and gets you moving towards success. Old Boney Mountain Hot Summer Night has an exclusive offer for the International Hot Sauce Competition participants. Join the Finding Your Next Best Steps course from Into Wisdom Group so you can move from planning to action to progress. And here we are, back and here we are. And the winner of the Medium Heat Division, envelope please. Nice drum roll, thank you very much. Third place, Pepper by Pinard, Caribbean Habanero. Second place, Pepper by Pinard, Hickory Smoked Barbecue. And first place, Flashpoint Sauces, Peach and Arrow. Yeah, Pepper by Bernard, that's an Australian sauce, and it's a new, new entry this year, so congratulations to you guys. Yeah. Flashpoint Sauces, great company, they've been in it for many years. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go right to the hot division, and you're going to see the hot division finalists. In the hot division, from hot New, division. South Wales, New South Wales, Australia, Pepper by Pinard's Caribbean Reaper Hot Sauce. From North Carolina, Rising Smoke Sauce Works, Fiesta Caliente Hot Sauce. From Connecticut, Bucanero Condiment Company's Habanero Orange Ginger. From Canada, Dawson's Hot Sauce, Original Hot. From Minnesota, Face Punch Foods, Project X Reaper Edition. From California, Four Fat Franks, Rainbow. From Canada, Villain Sauce Company's Smoky Mountain Death. From Canada, Knocks Your Socks Off Hot Sauce, Tempting Fate. From California, 
Infinity Sauce's Trihabasaurus. From Texas, Freaky Ferments Verde. That's great. All right, so we just happen to have uh, some of the hot sauce companies in the house here even. You guys have all experienced some of the sauces, so it's kind of nice to have them up as finalists because when you look at the finalists for the entire world and you have these 10 sauces out of 500 sauces, it's amazing that they got there. So congratulations to you guys who are here and uh, that you made it that far. And so let's hear the finals, uh, the final three, the top three. In the envelope, please. All right. I forgot the envelope on the mild one. But. Here we go. We have a tie for third place with Infinity Sauces Trihabasaurus. John, are you in the house? He might be at his booth. And it's tied with four fra fat francs rainbow. So come on up here. I got your award. All right. Congratulations, sir. I have your... Mr. Kessler, yeah, come here, come here, come here. I gotta have you guys on the stage together. There's something else. Congratulations. He's been up here before. Come here, you guys. Let's get a picture. All right. So listen, guys. Um, So, so you, you don't know, but John is from Infinity. He's got just some of the greatest sauces, and he's been here every year. And then you have Four Frat Francs. This is his first year. He's just in the business. And that's just reflective of what this competition's all about, is, is like just recognizing the best sauces in the world. Okay, that was third place. Second place. Everybody's in suspense. Rising Smoke Sauce Works Fiesta Caliente. Congratulations, Rising Smoke. All right, in first place from Canada, knocks your socks off, tempting fate. think we're going to a break right now we're going to talk a little bit about our other beneficiary and this is something near and dear to my heart because my son-in-law is a fireman uh, it's the uh, fire department widows orphans and assistance fund and we happen to have mr. Randy Gilbert to come and talk a little bit about that president of the, the fund so, Randy So hi, my name's Randy, as, as Jeff stated, and I'm here representing um, the Ventura County Fire Department's Widows, Orphans, and Assistance Fund. Um, first of all, I just want to say thank you to you all uh, for showing up here, because without you guys showing up, um, we wouldn't be able to do this. And all the vendors, all the hot sauce companies, uh, thank you guys, because you guys donating your time uh, and your food and your drinks, we couldn't do this without you guys. So much appreciated. Thank you. Uh, most importantly, thank you to Jeff. Um, and Jeff's family. Um, Jeff started this. Um, he's been gracious enough to include uh, the Ventura County Fire Department's Widows, Orphans, and Assistance Fund. Um, also gracious enough to include um, the Old Bone Mountain uh, for kids. And w without Jeff uh, including us, uh, we wouldn't be able to, to do what we do for people um, every day. 
So a little bit about us is um, we help uh, fire department families, whether they're sworn members or non-sworn members, um, and if they're in like a financial need. So something arises um, and we help them, whether it be an unexpected medical bill, whether we have a scholarship for uh, a graduating senior that's deserving going to college, or whether unfortunately someone passes away on our job. Uh, because of all you guys being here and because of Jeff's generosity and his family's generosity, we're able to like slightly help the burden of that family financially. Um, the Widows and Orphans Fund is comprised, thank you. The Widows and Orphans Fund is comprised of uh, all Ventura County Fire Department members um, and it's all volunteers. So all these people that are part of the Ventura County Widows and Orphans Fund, um, they all volunteer their time just to help uh, families in need. And we really, really appreciate their help. Um, some of them are here today um, volunteering their time. So to you guys out there that are here doing that, um, we really appreciate it. And thank you guys very much. And again, thank you to Jeff. And thank you to all you guys for showing up. And congratulations to all the contestants and all the winners. You guys did great. Thank you guys. What makes you lick your lips more? Serrano and Carolina Reaper Peppers, highly contesting for the attention of your taste buds, or knowing your hot sauce is made of 100% real hand squeezed ripe and succulent grapefruit. If you are uncensored enough for a truly unique experience that delivers sweet, spicy, and tangy mouthgasms, then give me that tongue and experience the pink. to the Pedago bike raffle. They're one of our sponsors and uh, donated this bike for, a, uh, for the raffle. And That's right. We're gonna let's give, give it right now. Let's give them a big hand. So check this out, you guys. Everybody you can't even hear it. We are so fortunate to get this at our event. Look at this. Is that not beautiful? Hi there, I'm Linda with Pedigo Electric Bikes out of Westlake Village. We buy, rent, and sell, uh, rent, sell, and service Pedigo Electric Bikes. Also a member of the Westlake uh, Village Rotary Club at noon. So um, that's how we got involved with this. We donated the other bike, the white bike that's up there, uh, for the raffle tonight. So far, tonight we raised $1,200 for the charity here. So what I want to ask you to do is reach in here. I've got all the tickets in here, as you can see. And we're going to ask you to go ahead and pick one out and announce the raffle. All right. I'm going to pick the right one. <laughs> Hopefully it's not my brother-in-law or something. <laughs> and the winner is Chris Clark. 
Chris Clark. Chris is with the Westlake Village Rotary Club. Congratulations, Chris. One of our most active people, and she's on social media. That's awesome. I will make sure she gets the information. Awesome. Thank you. Now we're getting ready to find out who our extra hot finalists are. Extra hot. <laughs> In the extra hot division, from North Carolina, Flashpoint Sauces, Blazin' Mustard. From Pennsylvania, Torchbearer Sauces, Garlic Reaper. From Arizona, High Desert Sauce Company's, Hotter Adobo. From Martha's Vineyard, Massachusetts, Mimi's Hitting the Sauces, My Body on Fire, Strip Off My Tire. From Texas, Hot Hot Sauces, Redneck Reaper. From North Carolina, Rising Smoke Sauce Works, Slow Death. From Texas, Hot Hot Sauces, The Rattler. From California, Infinity Sauces, The Reaper Brings Bad News. From Texas, Hot Hot Sauces, The Seance. From Arizona, High Desert Sauce Companies, Tiki Hot Masala. We'd like to thank Ports America, an official sponsor of Old Bony Mountain Hot Summer Nights. Ports America is the largest terminal operator and stevedore in the United States. Their operations range from pure container terminals to under the hook stevedoring. Ports America covers all coasts to provide global reach and local results. Ports America, we keep the world moving. Hey guys, uh, this is Mike, a brewmaster of Tarantula Hill, along with our CEO, Ollie. Uh, we're here to uh, support uh, the event uh, today virtually and to talk a little bit about our beer. Uh, the beer we're featuring for this event today is Four Sand Three. It's the beer we brew in honor of Sergeant Ron Helos, who passed away at the borderline uh, tragedy a couple years back. We brew this with the family the first time, it's with Karen, and then ever since with Jordan. Um, like I said, we're super proud of this beer uh, and super stoked to be involved in the Old Bunny Mountain Hot Summer Nights and be able to contribute to the charities that they support as well. Yeah, so a little bit about the beer, guys. It's a light, crisp, golden ale. Uh, should go great to help quell all of your super uh, spicy palates. Um, we picked out some really cool ingredients for it uh, with uh, the Helis family, most notably uh, the, some of the malt we used is called uh, Victory Malt. And the hops that we chose, uh, correctly named, are Warrior and uh, Noble Saz hops. So uh, crack yourself some cool uh, four Sam threes, which was Ron's call sign, and enjoy the event. Tarantula Hill is one of the breweries that's obviously here tonight, and they uh, do a lot in the community to support the different events, so thank you to them and any other breweries that are here today, too. Um, now it's time to hear our uh, winners of the Extra Hot Division. Woo! Please. See if I can keep this clean. In third place, High Desert Sauce Company, Hotter Adobo. In third place, Rising Smoke Sauce Works, Slow Death. So that was a tie for third place. 
It's the ball. And second place, Mimi is hitting the sauce. My body on fire, strip off the attire. <laughs> And drum roll, please, in first place. <laughs> Ethan Hot Sauces, the Redneck Reaper. <laughs> All right, congratulations to you guys. You guys know the next division is one of my favorites, and that's the fruit division. And uh, so, with that, uh, we do not have a commercial, <laughs> and we do have the finalists for the fruit division. Box off, Eye of the Tiger. From Florida, Father of Seven Sauces, Guavi Q. From South Carolina, Radiation Therapies, Mad Mango. From Pennsylvania, Torchbearer Sauces, Plum Reaper. From England, Dorset Chili, Punch. From North Carolina, Magnolia Sauce Company's Reaper's Orchard. From Texas, Hill Country Hot Peppers, Scorchin' Sunrise. From North Carolina, Flashpoint Sauces, Screaming Banshee. From Canada, Villain Sauces, The Sinister Delight, Peach Ghost Hot Sauce. From Nevada, C1 on 1, Reserve, Artisanal Culinary Products, Tropical Habanero. All right. So the envelope, please. Winner of the Fruit Division, Old Bunny Mountain Hot Summer Night 2022. In third place, Torch Pear Sauces, Plum Reaper. In second place, Flashpoint Sauces, Screaming Banshee. And in first place, Magnolia Sauce Company, Reaper's Orchard. Congratulations. commercial break to go to. <laughs> break to the dance. What's up? Seriously. <laughs> oh, you know what? Let's just skip the commercials and go to the spicy mustard right. finalist. Yeah. Andy? Yeah. Okay. yeah, let's do that. Carolina. Flashpoint sauces blazing mustard. From California, Red Hot Foods Cajun mustard. From New Jersey, Rivera Hot Sauces, Hot and Spicy Mustard. From Oregon, Hab Sauces, Lucha Libre Mexican Red Chili. From California, Red Hot Foods, Reaper Mustard. From Fiji, Boiling Rock, Rolling Rock Mustard. From North Carolina, Flashpoint Sauces, Smokin' Mustard. From New Mexico, TD's Brew and Barbecue, Southern Mustard. From Pennsylvania, Torchbearer Sauces Spicy Horseradish Mustard. From Virginia, Newland Hot Stuff's Sweet and Smoky Mustard. Spicy Mustard Division 
You will know after the break. <laughs> We'd like to thank. We'd like to thank Scenic View Ranch Airbnb for sponsoring Old Boney Mountain Hot Summer Night. Coming soon, the premier Airbnb in Ventura County, Scenic View Ranch. Featuring a quaint farmhouse feel with warm, accommodating common spaces and cozy, comfortable bedrooms with amazing views. Scenic View Ranch is located in the beautiful Santa Rosa Valley and close to Ventura's beaches, Santa Barbara's outdoor adventures, and LA's nightlife. Coming soon, Scenic View Ranch, Ventura's premier Airbnb. We'd like to thank Storm Larson and Company for sponsoring Old Boney Mountain Hot Summer Night. For years, Storm Larson & Company has been providing quality, personalized financial guidance to local individuals and businesses. They are one of the leading firms in and throughout the Canal Valley. By combining their expertise, experience, and the team mentality of their staff, they assure that every client receives the close analysis and attention they deserve. Their mission is to help clients maintain financial viability in the present while taking a proactive approach to achieve future goals. Storm Larson & Company, we create success. All right, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Storm Larson. All right, before we move on, I want to show you this little cool little picture here from Australia. Jethro, Yauchup, hot sauce artist sent me this, and I just wanted to give him a little, little time on the little shout out. Hot Summer Night 2022, good job, Jethro. Now the winners of the Spicy Mustard Division. The envelope, please. Thank you. This is a new division this year. We had some great contestants from all over the world. In third place, TD's Brew and Barbecue Southern Mustard. In second place, Torchbearer Sauces Spicy Horseradish Mustard. And in first place, Rivera Hot Sauce, Hot and Spicy Mustard. Congratulations, Mr. Rivera. All right, so the next division is the Spicy Snack Division. Let's hear what the finalists are there. Spicy snacks. Vision. From England, Grim Reaper Foods Black Widow Dark Chili Chocolate. From England, Chili Alchemists Blaze Chili Salted Caramel. From Massachusetts, Mimi's Hitting the Sauces Kathy's Crazy Crisps. From England, Chili Alchemists Dark Matter Dark Chili Chocolate. From England, Grim Reaper Foods, Hellraiser Milk Chili Chocolate. From New Jersey, Rivera Hot Sauces, Hot and Sweet Cilantro Lime Relish. From Pennsylvania, Matt Hat Jerky's Pinch Yo Grandma Spicy Beef Jerky. From England, Grim Reaper Foods, Purgatory White Chili Chocolate. From England, Chili Alchemists, Scorched Chili Chocolate Spread. From England, Dorset Chili's Sweet Porky, Sweet Chili Pork Cracklings. Hey. 
And the winners, and the winners, the spicy snack division. You have a little, please. All right, so this was another new division this year, the mustard and the spicy snack. We have some great competitors from all around the world. But in third place, Grim Reaper Foods Purgatory. Awesome chocolate. In second place, Chili Alchemist, Scorch. These are, both products are from England. And in first place, the first winner of the Spicy Snack Division for Old Boney Mountain Hot Summer Night is Grim Reaper Foods Hellraiser. Another spicy chocolate. The judges liked it. And then the next is a spicy barbecue sauce division. Uh, so let's play the finalists. In the barbecue division from New Jersey, Rivera Hot Sauces Bacon Ghost Pepper. From New Mexico, TD's Brew and Barbecue Cherry Chipotle Sauce. From New Jersey, Rivera Hot Sauces Ghost Pepper Barbecue. From Australia, Peppers by Pinard's Hickory Smoked Barbecue Hot Sauce. From New Jersey, Rivera Hot Sauces Hot Roasted Garlic Red Bell Pepper Barbecue. From California, Red Hot Foods Instant Death Barbecue Sauce. From California, Infinity Sauces Sauced Owner's Private Reserve. From New Jersey, Rivera Hot Sauces Scorpion Ghost Barbecue. From New Mexico, TD's Brew and Barbecue's Southern Mustard. From Florida, Fairy Tales Hot Sauce, Three Little Pigs Smoked Habanero Barbecue. <laughs> and the winners of the barbecue sauce are envelope, please. In third place, Rivera, Rivera Hot Sauce Scorpion Ghost Barbecue. <laughs> In second place, Rivera Hot Sauce Bacon Ghost Barbecue. First place, Rivera Hot Sauce Ghost Pepper Barbecue. Wow, Rivera Hot Sauce. A whole lot. You got something to say about Rivera Hot Sauce, Jeff? I do, I do. Uh, Rivera, if you've been following this for the last several years, Rivera seems to have cornered the market on barbecue sauce to a degree. We've had a lot of companies, as you saw, breaking into the top ten. But congratulations to Rivera, and I thought hey, it'd be an appropriate time to see a little commercial with uh, Orlando Rivera. Good evening, everyone. My name is Orlando Rivera of Rivera Hot Sauce. I wanted to take a couple of minutes to share a story about how it all started with my dad and the passion I have for him. To love on the hot sauce. This is one of the hot sauce creations that I do at the Bica, which is a Latin community with the hot sauce that the peppers and spices are steeping inside. Every day the flavor gets bold with flavor and the heat. This is the Bica de Jose Rivera. That's my father. Who oh, I miss so much every day. I have created so many sauces and each bottle has a passion that my dad had taught me. My dad and I had a bond when I was a kid. He had his own kitchen table, which was 
and the Bacardi bottle, which is known in the Latin community. So that's why I had the fast bottle itself. My dad had taught me how to grow peppers and get my hand dirty in the soil. When I was a teenager, we did sauces together. The family, community, the neighborhood was just loving our sauces, and we couldn't just keep up with the demand. It's funny because that's how I feel right now, as times we are in demand for sauces and we are doing our best. So my dad and I had a bond when I was a teenager, and I miss that bond so much. As my dad had passed away, I lost the interest and the passion that we had of growing peppers and doing sauces. Until one day, I met my wife, who brought me a pepper plant without even knowing the story between my dad and I. So I treated that pepper plant like it was the last one on the planet Earth. She had told me I had a passion that needed to be let out to everybody to share. So I may start making sauces, your typical Tabasco sauce. And then I got into the gourmet, and I really wanted to learn how to do barbecue sauce. It took me a little while. I think I have a perfection on that. But all in all, I had this bond with my dad as I pray every single night to my dad. And I pray for him, not only teaching me how to do hot sauces, but teaching me how to be a great man, a great father, and to take care of each other and respect each other. I think, I personally want to thank Oboni Mountain Hot Summer Night for this amazing opportunity for showcasing our sauces and for all for a great cause. I thank you and God bless. I'm Shonda Lubinsky, your Newbury Park Realtor. I'd like to start off by saying thank you so much for coming to support a cause that's obviously near and dear to my heart, the Old Bony Mountain Hot Summer Night Festival 2022. I'd also like to share with you that if you have any real estate needs, please come and find me. I'd love to talk to you. You can either look me up at shondalubinsky.com, you can call or text me at 805-443-5330, or you can come and find me at the festival tonight. I believe that any realtor that you speak with should be honest, hardworking, knowledgeable of the local market, and backed by a team of people that can support a smooth transaction from start to finish for you. But what's gonna separate me from other agents is my local experience and my negotiation skills. And those are things that you cannot teach. I was born and raised and currently living in Newbury Park, so I can help find the community that's right for you specifically. I also have years of proven experience with my negotiation skills, which has gotten me to where I am today. If you're looking for somebody who's going to fight hard for you and who can do it well, please come and find me. Again, buying and selling in Newbury Park and the local area. Have a great time tonight, you guys. Shonda Lubinsky Realty. You know, Shonda is the executive director of Old Bony Mountain Foundation for Kids, and she's been that since 2020, and she has not taken a salary or a dime out of it, and she's put her heart and soul into it. Um, and she, she's a, a good local real estate agent. Anybody who has the opportunity to work for with her, please do. Next is our final. It's the introduction of the People's Choice Awards. So the People's Choice Awards are kind of the premium awards for the entire competition. All of the sauces are entered into the, the competition, 500 sauces from around the world. They're whittled down to this year 20 sauces uh, from around the world and 10 barbecue sauces. And then from those, we had a great uh, event at Holdren's where everybody can come and vote for their favorite sauce, the People's Choice. Um, before we do the, the People's Choice sauce, we also have a label competition. So you saw the 500 labels up there, and you saw um, all of the competition around uh, the hot sauce. Well, we also had an online competition about the favorite label, so people could donate and vote for their favorite label. And so what we did was we did the voting all the way up until now, uh, actually 8 o'clock. And so we have uh, the top four labels 
uh, according to the People's Choice voting around the world. So you can vote online and see all of the sauces from around the world. In fourth place, favorite label, Bandit's Barbecue, Backyard Barbecue. In third place, best label, Face Punch Foods. In second place, Stanky Sauce. And in first place, from South Africa, Galito's Flame Grilled Chicken. Congratulations. All right, next, the People's Choice Culinary Experience. So, so the Culinary Experience voting actually took place online for all of the booths here. And we had some great booths. I'm going to tell you, this was probably the closest competition we've ever seen, separated by one vote. But I'm going to give you, I mean, obviously, I don't know, you guys could yell out your favorites right now. But, um, gee, tri tip from Coney's, you got Spoken Steve's, you got Tarantula Hill, you got all kinds of experiences. Flying Embers. Flying Embers, wow, yeah. So, um, I'm going to announce the winner, and it was by one vote. The winner of the Culinary Experience for 2022 is Holdren's Steak and Seafood's Bloody Mary. Come on up. That was quite a spicy Bloody Mary. Has a great sauce in it. We have one more envelope, maybe two more, two more envelopes. One for barbecue sauce and one for the best hot sauce in the world. Okay, so the barbecue sauce division, uh, that's a special division as you know you saw Mr. Rivera. But what we do in the barbecue sauce division, we take the top ten finalists and we let the people uh, vote on that. And so I have a uh, envelope for the, I, I know which one it is. It's a virtual envelope. Thank you. Oh. So the winner, the winner of the favorite barbecue sauce in the world out of the 10 finalists, TD's Brew and Barbecue Southern Mustard. Final award of the evening. I know you guys just want me to keep going. But this is for the world's favorite hot sauce. It's in here somewhere. favorite hot sauce 2022 as voted on by the people flashpoint sauces screaming banshee congratulations flashpoint all right so i i hope everybody had a great year this year next year around this time we're going to do it again um, we want to thank all of our sponsors and everybody for coming. We, we got to roll a little clip here of our uh, our credits, but uh, we'll see you next year and uh, have a good evening.
else out there that he may never even meet. And, you know, for him and his family to do this kind of thing is just amazing. I just wanted to give a hand to you, Jeff. Good job. Thanks, Andy. Hey, it's really all you people. And, you know, the Rotary Club has always been, Andy's a part of the Rotary Club. He's always been a, a supporter and, and actually a co-founder of this event. So we thank the Rotary Club. And I thank my family. We couldn't, I couldn't do this without my family, every one of them. So let's roll the credit.